So a guy called the shop saying that he had a 1950 Chrysler Town & Country. I've never seen one in person, so I really have to go check this thing out. Hey, how's it going? Good, man, how are you? Man, you got a really nice car here. Thank you. It's a Town & Country, right? 1950 Chrysler Town & Country Newport. Sweet. You ever seen one? In pictures. <laughs> it's all steel, and the wood is all original handcrafted. It's got to weigh as much as a train. Yeah, it is a boat. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't want to get hit by this in your Honda Civic. <laughs> Called the pawn shop today because I wanted to sell the 1950 Chrysler Newport. The car is in excellent condition. I don't think you can find another one like it. I'd like to sell the car. I originally bought it uh, because I fell in love with it, but, you know, it's more of an investment now. No one makes anything like this anymore. At one point, Chrysler made cars that were more expensive than Rolls Royces. I think this was their second most expensive car at the Act time they built it. Actually, you're right, yeah, in 1950, this was the most expensive car in the Detroit lineup. The 1950 Chrysler Town & Country, it was about $500 more than a Rolls Royce back then. So no one could afford them, they barely made any of them, and it was kind of the car that made Chrysler go bankrupt. There's really not much for me to complain about it. Do you mind if I take a look around it? No, go ahead. It's got the marble steering wheel. That is super cool. It's pretty different. I'm shocked in what good shape it's in. It's kind of sad to see where the company's at today. You know, they make like mid-sized sedans that look like every other car out there. Is it all original or? Mostly some stuff's been redone. I believe it's original miles, 65,000. You know, some of the interior and, and headliner's been redone, but the wood's original, the engine's original. I gotta tell you, man, I'm rarely impressed. Normally, uh, they send me out to go see a car and I'm not into it at all. So what are you looking to get for it? Uh, I'm looking around 50,000. 50,000? Yeah. Honestly, man, I really don't know what it's worth, so do you mind if I have a buddy of mine come down and take a look at it? I'd really like him to drive it, too. He's a, he's a lot better at this stuff than me. Go for it. All right. I'm gonna jump in my car and give him a call. I'll be right back, Sounds all right? Sounds good. I don't mind having an expert come in at all. He'll see the value in the car and how unique it is, and I enjoy negotiating anyway, so. So this is it, man. Man, that's a cool ride. I like it. 1950, town and country. You weren't kidding, man. That thing's pretty clean. You know, it's interesting. In 1949, Chrysler dropped from being number two out of the big three to number three. And so what they did to scramble back in place is they kind of took all the chrome and wood they could find and kind of threw it at this car, <laughs> trying to push luxury, you know? Well, I already asked him if we can go for a test drive. You want to jump in? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's drive. Let's do all this. Right. And the boat is a sail. <laughs> the Town & Country is a pretty unique car, especially the 1950, because it was a really low production vehicle. They really tried to build a super deluxe car, but it was the right car at the wrong time. Holy moly. You feel the pulsating of the 135 horsepower pushing a 5,000 pound vehicle? Seriously, I really, really like the car. Everything about the car is amazing. The inside looks amazing. I mean, it drives amazing. It sounds great. Now I just hope I can get it for the right price. If you buy it, I'll, you know, I'll drive it every now and again for you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely drove smooth, man. What, what do you think it's worth? I mean, realistically, because it's such a limited production vehicle and the collectability on it isn't super, super high, I'd say you, you'd probably got to be between 35 and 40 grand mm -hmm. on the car. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very yeah. much. No problem. Hey, hey, it was a nice car, man. Nice you know? meeting you, yeah. It's a solid, nice, original car. If Corey can buy this car right, he stands to make a lot of money. I really don't think I've ever been in this situation before, man. I mean, you have a really, really cool car. It's just the, you know, it's not a Mustang where there's, you know, millions of guys out there buying it. I'd have to offer you like 22 grand, dude. I paid way more than that for it. I mean, that's, I think your guy said 35 to 40, and that's even too low. The lowest I'd go on the car would be 45. You couldn't do 28? No, I think at 45 would be the best I could do. I'm really sorry, because I, I really do like the car. I'm just, yeah. we're not going to be able to make a deal. Yeah, but I appreciate you coming out. Nice appreciate it, man. Uh, Take care. I'm declining the offer of 28,000 because I just think it's too low for what this car is and the condition that it's in. We didn't make a deal, so I think I'm going to roll the windows down, get in there, and go for a spin.